on that faithful night, I remember moonlight bathed the windswept shore which bordered our ancestral estate. Our daughter was late, very late, and I stood anxiously awaiting any sign of her return. I could see nothing. I could hear only the low moaning of the wind in the trees, a moaning that somehow drew my tired and nervous mind to a shape hanging, twisted, like a discarded plaything. From hideous branches, consumed with fears for the safety of our youngest child, I flew to the window and shut it tight, and perceived in part of grounds, less dark than the rest, the same figure from the vile portrait. Its gray mantle, advancing towards the castle, with slow and soundless deliberation, shrouded by a veil of mist that reeked of the charnel house. The intent of the undead monster had become horribly clear. Escape was impossible. We were trapped in his web without the strength or knowledge to combat its dark and awesome power. Urged by a perverse compulsion already gorged on my daughter, it now sought to take from us the innocent heir to its accursed line. I felt, suddenly, icy cold. The vile stench of the tomb gripped my senses as the ghastly apparition entered the room. Paralyzed with fear, I watched helplessly as the specter moved towards the bed. As the specter moved away from the unconscious child, it started towards me. I was petrified with horror. I was completely at its mercy, neither able to move nor shut my eyes.